been a cold winter since I've been foiling. Although I get a lot of kiting over winter, I never brought my foil on my kite trips. So when I entered the water for the first time in six months at my favorite spot with my foil tucked under my arm, I had a few questions. Like, can I still foil? You know, you're supposed to stay on, eh? If so, how much skill have I lost? And the answers were quite surprising. But first, if you're like me and only foil six months of the year, here are five things you can do to jumpstart your foiling season. Number one, exercise. Improve your board control with surfing squats. You can find lots of videos on YouTube on the subject. I do them because getting up after butt riding is frickin' hard. I just don't know how to get back up again. Not enough core strength or something. Standing up once you're sitting down, that's freaking brutal. That's almost impossible. Go over your foil and fix your nicks before the season starts. And consider sanding down the trailing edges of your wings and masts. Why? Much of the buzzing is related to trailing edge cavitation. Number three, opposite foot S turns. It dawned on me that I foil like I snowboard, goofy or right foot forward. I'm always trying to get back to Goofy as quickly as possible, which is why I switch my feet first before starting a port tack jibe to get to my strong stance, and switch my feet after jibing starboard tack. So my first experiment was to ride regular, that is left foot forward, and practice my S turns. Wow, that's hard. Really helped kickstart my brain. I could feel those few remaining neurons making new connections. Air jibe tips. Try foot changes with one hand on the bar and your free arm extended for balance. Then try foot changes with both hands on the bar and sheeting in a little bit. I find the two-handed approach is easier. Try a nice little foot change right here. This time I'm going to use both hands on the bar. Ah! Yeah. Number five. Sink the foil deeper before your foot changes. A deeper foil is a more stable foil. Jibe in a gust. More power in the kite means you can lift more of your body weight off the foil. Consider looping the kite to change direction. And what do you know, my battery dies on my GoPro camera just when the snowbirds flew overhead. Sure it was cool flying my kite with the snowbirds. Well, that's it for now. Stay tuned for the next episode when I test a carbon alpine foil for the first time. And I'm really looking forward to it. Are you ready to switch? Anyways, cheerio. Are you ready to switch?